we live in a, a world that's cursed. And, and Jesus said, John 16, 33, he said, you will have trouble in this world. <laughs> so, it's, so to me, it's like, you have to take the perspective of this is nothing new. The other part of John 16, 33, he said, you will have trouble in this world, but take heart, I have overcome the world. <laughs> and so we know that this is not a surprise to Jesus. He's uh, above all of this. And so his plan is going to continue. And so really our job is to say, okay, what is the plan and how do we get in gear with that plan and continue in spite of all these troubles? My earlier years in mission here in Japan, I would ask, you know, we got 126 million people in this country, you know, 99 and a half percent of them are unsaved. God, what can I do? You know, here's me and Joan, <laughs> two of us, what can I do? And just, you know, in the last past few years, God was telling me, Ralph, you're asking the wrong question. It's not what can you do, it's what do I want to do? And so just seeking him was what do you want to do here? And so that's why, you know, just looking at some of the things that he's opened up, like the whole ministry to Iejima, here's an island that had almost no believers. And now we go in there, we run camps, the government's completely open to us, they send kids to our camps, and people are coming to faith, and it's like, wow. And that's the kind of thing where I would say to, to folks considering mission, that is that has eternal value after being on the field for 25 years you know it's been difficult but i said i wouldn't trade this for the world there i wouldn't trade my life for anything in the world you know because of what god is having us do impacting people who don't know jesus or people that that do know jesus helping them grow in their faith 